Hey guys, I'm really excited because I've got something to show you. Uh, a buddy of mine, Chad, uh, you guys may remember him. Uh, he was the gentleman that had the uh, saddle that need to be, needed to be machined for the G0704. And he sent it to me and I machined it for him. And since then we've become uh, pretty good friends. Uh, we've been going back and forth with... Um, different aspects of his build uh, he's going to be building a G0602 as well as the G07 and 04 and he came across these calipers and told me about it and so I thought I'd share this information with you this is the origin caliper it's from iGaging.com and you can pick up their uh, you can go to their website they have all different types of uh, digital calipers and measuring devices. Um, and the really neat thing about these calipers is no matter where you are on the... It doesn't lose its zero. It always goes back to zero. Uh, these are a lot, way better than your... $10 Chinese made ones. Uh, you can really feel the precision. They're very well made, very well machined, uh, and it's really nice. Uh, it comes with, of course, with instructions. And it also came with, uh, it uses the CR2032 battery, which are easily, uh, you're easy to find these. Uh, they're readily available. Uh, the battery compartment is real nice. You just slide it. It has a little rubber gasket here and it just pops right in. Very easy to change the battery if you need to be. And the cover slides right back in place and locks. Now the really nice thing about these calipers, other than they're just they're great calipers, very precise but what really drove me to these calipers was the fact that it has this data link that you can connect to and let me show you this it has this nice cover to keep stuff out you can get wired which hooks directly up to the USB port on your computer and this is great for prototyping. Now what's really nice about these calipers is <clears throat> whatever you measure, you can enter that data directly into the computer. So if you're doing some prototype, say with Fusion 360, so if I wanted to mock this up in Fusion 360, all I'd have to do is go to Create, Cylinder, Use this plane right here, click in the center, pull it out, and then take my measurement. And this happens to be 2.248. Click the button. It puts the information into Fusion 360, and then the height. 0.988 and it puts that dimension in there as well I want to put a hole I can go to cylinder select this face here right in the center again now I can measure the inside diameter here Once I get that measurement, click it, and it puts that dimension in there. And then I can drag this out and put my hole in there. So you can see how this will be beneficial if you're doing some prototyping in Fusion 360. You can directly put 
import all your measurements straight into Fusion 360. Now this is the wired setup which hooks up to this data box and straight over to your uh, USB port on your computer. There is also a wireless setup. Now William sent me this but it's still in the beta and it's not quite got the firmware it needs but it comes with a a module that plugs right into your set of calipers and then it has the button right here to import your data and then you take this stick here the USB stick and then this plugs directly into your computer like so and then you can use it to import your data as well they're still working on this because you can actually with one USB stick you can actually have up to eight different devices to import data into your computer so you could have a tool height indicator you could have a dial indicator uh, micrometers you could have them all with this data link and they can all link up to your computer and uh, the addressing is what they're working on now in the firmware and once they get that he uh, William said it'd be a couple of weeks so we'll see if they have that available in a couple of weeks but you can see how this would could be beneficial to you in Fusion 360 as well as setting up your tool heights for Mach 3 also setting zeros on say the G0602 so what I did was I I did a little video to show you how to set up your tool heights in Mach 3 if you're using TTS tool holders as well as setting up Z0 on the G0602 so let's take a look at that video okay so another thing that I like about this new eye gauging caliper that I picked up is because it directly inputs into the computer it makes setting up your x-axis zero a breeze on the G0602. Now let me show you what I mean. Now I already have my x and z zero uh, axis referenced. And what I like to do to get my z just right is go ahead and put the tool in there and then I like to jog the tool and put a piece of sacrificial stock or a piece of the stock that I'm going to be turning go ahead and put it in the lathe and just Use, um, use the jog commands and uh, turn it down a little bit with the tool in there. like so and then with the new eye gauging calipers you can take the calipers you can get your measurement directly from the caliper go over to your DRO click on it and then push the send but data button and it puts the exact measurement into your DRO 
so the calipers say 0.9625 and that's exactly what we have in our DRO and now we know that what we have this exactly lined up on our zero very simple with the new eye gauging origin IP54 I'm really impressed with these it's going to make uh, tool setup a breeze as well for setting up all your uh, tool offsets one other thing that I thought was great with the origin calipers and for that same $114 you can get this you can add this um, a depth stop here just line it up like so tighten it up and now I can use this to measure my tool height by just like so now let me show you how I measure mine you can go to your local granite supplier and pick up these nice samples as I did when we put granite countertops in now I didn't do this but you can ask them to drill you a hole in here so that you can slide your TTS holder in here what I do is I just put it on the edge like so I just put it on the edge It's not the most accurate. A hole would be nicer. And I'm sure they drill a hole in there for, you know, a few dollars. And they'll just give you the tile if you ask for a sample. They have granite. They have all different types. Uh, if you order a granite surface plate, I don't know how much better it's going to be than a granite countertop sample. And hey, these are free. So, I have a new tool here. I just got this. This is a indexable tool this is a 3 8 inch end mill and I got a half inch TTS holder here this is a half inch shank um, I haven't used it yet I'm going to get it set up in Mach 3 so what I want to do is I want to measure the distance from here where it sits in the bottom of the spindle to the tip of the tool so I'll just put it in like so use my origin calipers like so put it up against my tool holder and then just slide it down till it touches and it's 3.2065 so now what I'm going to do I'm going to up to Mach 3 into my tool table sorry I don't have enough room here to put everything but I'll go to file config tool table and I'll scroll down to my next available tool which for me is 21 it looks like so I'm going to type in uh, 0 0.375 indexable in mill okay and then tab over the diameter is 0 0.30 0.375 okay and then the height I highlight it there and then I hit the data button to send the data and that's my height 3.2065 and then I'll click apply and okay all right so now it's just a matter of checking it and see if we're uh, getting a good measurement
It also, you can pick up the depth gauge adapter, which just slides on, and then it has a uh, thumb screw here that you can set it. And this was $10 extra, and I thought it was well worth it because I can use this for my tool height to set the depths in Mach 3, as I did in the video. It's for $114, I thought it was a really nice setup, and I was so excited when I got it and used it that I thought it was something that you guys would definitely be interested in. So if you are, like I said, give William a call. His number is listed in the video as well as in the description. It's $114 shipped. You can either get the wireless set up, which should be ready in a couple of weeks. Comes with the USB stick, the data connect module, and a uh, CR2032 uh, battery. Along with the IP54 origin cal calipers and the depth stop. Well, if you give William a call, just let him know Sam sent you from CNC for XR7. Uh, it's $114 shipped for the caliper and the data connect, either wired or wireless. He'll uh, hook you up with that special deal. So that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And most importantly, be safe.